Hi, Mr. Smith. My name is Veronica, and I'm going to be the respiratory therapist. I'm here to educate you about keeping your nebulizer clean. Um, first of all, let me put on some gloves. Because I want you to keep it clean while we're taking it apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything off. You're going to take your tubing and you're going to set it to the side along with your medicine cup. We're going to have your mask or an annual tea piece or your mouthpiece. That way we make sure we get everything clean. What you want is like a mild detergent and uh, we're going to wash it off. Very good. Then we're going to run it under a strong stream of water for about 30 seconds so that we make sure we get it rinsed off really well. Um, if you want to rinse out your medicine cup, you have to use sterile or distilled water to get that clean. Okay, um, we're gonna let it. Uh, we're gonna let it air dry. You can pat it dry. You know, if you feel like it still has some water, some excess water on the outside, you want to put it together and run it with the compressor for about 20 seconds to make sure you get the insides clean. Um, then you want to put it in a Ziploc baggie. That way, you keep it um, clean for the next time you need to use it. And now, this needs to be done at least once a day. Okay, um, then we're going to go to like where you need to clean it once a week. For that, you want two parts water and you want one part vinegar. You're going to let it soak for about 30 minutes. Again, you're going to take everything apart. Um, this time, you know, you're going to use a mask as well. Uh, you can let your, your medicine cup soak in that. It's okay to do that. Then you want to make sure you, uh, you rinse everything out for at least one minute. Run it under a strong stream of water. Then you want to again put it, let it uh, air dry. Um, if you need to pat it dry, that's okay. You want to run it on the machine for about 10 to 20 seconds again. Make sure all your inside parts are clean. Uh, you want to disconnect the tubing again. Make sure you never get that tubing wet. Then you want to again put it in a Ziploc baggie until you're ready to use it again. Uh, make sure you always place a cover over your compressor. That way you don't have excess uh, dust or anything getting in there. And um, like, like I said, put it in the Ziploc baggie, make sure it stays clean for the next use. Um, I want to ask that you would, if you could please demonstrate for me what I showed you today. That way I know that, you know, I didn't miss any steps and, you know, we make sure you understand exactly how to keep it clean. Do you have any questions for me today? Okay, well, thank you and you have a good day.